For a group of 12-year-olds from Stratford, it was just a fun weekend of hockey. But the 1958 Stratford Wise Men Pee Wee team is the only Stratford minor hockey team and only A category team to win the grand championship of the Goddridge Young Canada Week tournament. After winning all four games through the week to successfully defend the A championship, Stratford defeated AA champion Montreal, B champion Godridge, and C champion Elmira, all in the span of 10 hours, later claiming the grand championship, a part of the tournament which has since been discontinued. I, I think the greatest memory, perhaps, is, is when we beat Montreal because that was the real challenge, the, not to take anything away from, from God, which we played next and then Elmira played at the last, but they certainly weren't up to the talent of Montreal and to beat Montreal was a real accomplishment. That 1958 tournament was attended by an estimated 10,000 fans and covered by three Toronto Daily newspapers and the Montreal Gazette amongst others. Newspapers dubbed the team the 11 Iron Men as they had just 11 team members in uniform, facing teams of 15. Amongst the memories many will never forget, the fire truck ride and the cavalcade of cars that paraded the players around the city after their win. In their tryout period, from what I recall, is that Gary would put pylons on the ice and, and he'd say, okay, uh, take a puck and, and carry the puck through the pylons and carry it back and if you did it successfully you were in one line and if you didn't you were in the other line and in a cute story a guy in the team Jimmy Oliver carried the puck through the pylons or, or did not carry the puck through the pylons and, and basically got cut. Jimmy in, in all his uh, resourcefulness went back and changed sweaters and, and had a second shot and carried it through and made the team so <laughs> it's, it's just a story that, that sticks out of my mind. Well the deal that time was that I knew I had these good players and uh, I thought, we're just going to go with kids that can really cut it, who can really skate, who can keep up and do it. So I took uh, whatever uh, number that came out, and I took the best of those kids. Turned out to be 11 kids, and we went with 11 kids all year. So one goaltender, four defensemen, two forward lines. Yeah. So it just happened that way, but. I was determined that we were only going to go with the very best kids. We had a very good hockey team. The team we, Nick Libet, played 14 years, or maybe even more in the NHL. I played a few years in the NHL in professional hockey. We had a couple other players that played, uh, Alan Franks and uh, Eric Morris, our one of our defensemen, played some junior A hockey and we had a couple others play played junior B. So we actually had a very talented hockey team. and. So because we didn't have many skaters, there was always some very good hockey players on the ice at the same time. You know, it's 55 years this year. This team, amazingly enough, has stayed very close. Uh, we had a 50th reunion five years ago. They all came out except Mo Morris, who has passed away. And they were all anxious to come again this time. I mean, there is a bond with this team after 55 years. 